More desperate and dangerous attempts by migrants trying to escape their camp in France and get to the UK. Charles Stratford explains why. While European politicians continue to argue as to how to deal with the crisis, the conditions in this camp are utterly atrocious and continue to deteriorate with more and more people coming here all the time. Now, everybody we've spoken to is too afraid to go on camera. They do not want to be identified. But when you ask them why this is so important for them to get to the UK, they all say similar things. And they include this perception that immigration policy in the UK is easier than it is in Europe. It's easier for them to find a job. They say that the wages are better and they say that they want to be part of an English language, an English speaking culture. They also say that they will continue, despite the risks, to try and jump some of these fences, get in that tunnel and start what they see as being a better life. These two sisters got together, literally. Each donated half a liver, giving their father a new lease on life. Rob McBride explains why this could save so many lives. The prevalence of hepatitis B in East Asia means liver failure is a serious problem here, compounded by a traditional reluctance in Chinese society to donate organs. It's meant that Hong Kong has become a world leader in living organ transplantation. With an aging population and limited space, Japan is facing a crisis. How to deal with the dying? Drew Ambrose discovers there are some creative ways of dealing with the dead. As more people die in Japan, there are commercial businesses and showcases which help people here make those vital decisions. At this exhibition, you can even try your own coffin. All this and more on Al Jazeera.